let's look at one more double exposure video this time we're looking at working with as standard the photo as possible so i'm going to work with a uh, artificial intelligence generated picture of a child so i'm going to go here i'm going to pick my fake child here what i want to do is i'm going to do double exposure so i'm going to go tools look for my double exposure down here tap on that Tap on the little image with a plus on the top right. Grab an image. I've got some texture down here that I'm interested in using. I can find it again. Gosh. Right, let me work. Where's that texture that I wanted? Let me work on my sun texture, it doesn't matter. So I've got my sun picking in here. Then I'm going to Kind of line it up here. Then I want to go to the blend modes, which is, if you remember, it's down here. Here the plus, and just look at the different blend modes. Uh, yes, that's quite nice. Let me see if I can line this up. That's quite cool. I like that. So what I'm going to do is check how light I want it. So. So I'll line them up here. I say I want to work that way for some reason. Bottom right, tick mark. The one I want to do is I want to make sure that I constrain the effects. So let me draw it so it appears around here. Okay. And not here. I don't want it here. So that's a no-no. So the way we do that is we need to go up here. Again, just as a reminder, this little tool that works like um history when you have your photoshop and stroke photoshop actions so i want to go so i want to go to view edits here tap on that see it pops up the last one which is double exposure i want to hit that little bird beak here and i want the brush tool which is the middle one here tap on that then what i want to do is i don't want it the strong so i'm going to put on 75. i'm going to make sure my eyes open just to draw the red mask and I'm just going to draw in here. Try and be rough because then I'm going to correct the edges. Do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice that there's a little arrow pointing down. I need to make that zero. So then that works as an eraser. So I'm going to go 25, zero. And then I'm going to pinch and zoom to go to the edges. So I make sure. I get rid of stuff where I don't want it to be. So let's leave it like that. It's not going to be perfect. Just, just to show you the main idea. Then I'm going to go to the other side. Pinch and zoom, pinch and zoom. So I'm going to just as come close to as possible. You're going to spend time on this for sure because I don't want to make this video too long and just clean up a little bit around here once I'm once I'm happy with that hit the tick mark I'm gonna zoom out here you can see how the child's got that overlay effect obviously you would want to have an image that would cover everything all the way into here so you blend the whole head with an image but this is just a quick example. I just lost the original texture. And once you're happy, you're going to hit the back arrow here, top left. You're going to hit export, bottom right. You're going to hit save. And that's it. You're done. Thank you so much for listening. There's no more double exposures, except the other videos that are in the list. That's it. Um, brilliant. Just snap seed. Thanks for listening.